What is up guys? My name is Ben Hartwell. Thanks for checking out my channel. If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing. So we're probably all aware of how important it is to warm up before a gig. We've probably all seen warm ups like this. And this. And even this. It's surprising how often I find myself backstage and I don't have a guitar. They're usually on stage, ready for the show to start, or the backstage is miles away from the stage, or it's just not practical for me to have a guitar backstage. So how do I then warm up for a show? You probably all know that it's super important to warm up before a show. There is nothing worse than being on stage and feeling sluggish and stiff. Many prospect bands will actually have a warm up or a tuning room backstage where the whole band can get together, run through some songs, warm up, get nice and loose and ready for the show. A number of touring guitar players actually get to the venues far in advance of when the show is going to start, just so they can have time backstage to warm up. People like Mark Tremonti will set up hours before the show and just play through until they feel that they're comfortable, nice and loose and ready to perform. So over the years, I've kind of found a good few exercises that I can do backstage that I know are gonna loosen me up and get everything working to a point where I'm gonna feel comfortable and ready to play on stage. There are a few key areas you wanna focus on when warming up, getting ready for a show. Those are obviously your fingers, your hands as a whole, the wrists, forearms, your shoulders, and the rest of your body. So here are 10 nice and easy, super quick exercises you can do to get nice and loose backstage. So I filmed this at a recent show, I'm backstage, and as you can see, there's not a whole lot of room here. So rather than struggling with the guitar backstage, I just did my 10 simple warm-up exercises. In no particular order, number one, fist clenches. Really helps to get your whole hand moving and warmed up in one go. Number two, wrist stretches. Your wrists are one of the most important areas to warm up, especially on your picking hand, as that is one of the areas that does the most work throughout a gig. Wrist rolls, Clockwise and anti-clockwise do the same job, warming up the same area. Individual finger stretches, obviously you need to warm up your fingers, especially on that fretting hand. Get them good and warmed up, ready to apply some pressure to that fingerboard, make you playing nice and easy. Thumb stretches, thumbs are often an area that's overlooked, but if you think about it, the thumb on your picking hand actually does quite a lot of work and is in a constant grip position. And the thumb on your fretting hand is applying a lot of pressure on the back of that neck. So these are areas that you really do need to warm up. Open-handed circles. This is a warm up I once saw Rob Chapman do in one of his videos. And it's a really great exercise to get the forearms, the hands and the fingers all working together. Assisted finger stretches. This is just an extension of the individual finger stretches, but stretching laterally rather than stretching back and forth. Finger roll, I find this is a really good way of getting a bit of speed into the fingers, getting them ready to play those faster riffs. Prayer hands, this is another really good one that's working multiple areas, working the forearms, the hands and the fingers, just applying some light pressure and really stretching those areas out. Depending on what kind of gig it is, how much moving around you're gonna be doing, it's good to stretch out the upper body as well, the neck, the shoulders, the arms and triceps, just to get things nice and warm and to help you avoid any kind of injury. Another great thing I've found over the years is this. So this is the Planet Waves Vary Grip. And it's an awesome way of getting your fingers and hands prepared to play backstage without using an actual guitar. It's just a set of four springs that you can change the tension on. And there's various different ways you can hold it and apply pressure and get both hands nice and warmed up and ready to play. These little things have been invaluable to me and I'll put links in the description below about where you can get them. So there you go, hopefully that's been of some help on how to warm up when you don't have a guitar available. Can't overstress the importance of getting warmed up for a gig. It helps you get loose and prepared and ready to play that show. It also helps guard against injuries and fatigue. It's probably the most important thing you can do before going on stage. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up below. If you wanna watch another video on my channel, you can click it right up there. And don't forget to subscribe, you can do it just there. See you in the next one.